Hello folks, it's Anita Rao and I wanted to speak about something a bit lighter today, um, more fun. Uh, I think we've been too serious recently because there's just so much going on and um, we're all hearing all the sort of the negative news and the doom and gloom. So I thought um, let me do a series of something a bit more fun, a bit more light, and um, I'm going to do this over the next few days and I'll, I'll sort of po post it one by one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each nakshatra, all 27 of them, and I'm going to talk about compatibility for each of them. Yeah. Um, we all know relationship compatibility is um, is a very popular topic and it's much more complex than just looking at the moon placement but the moon placement and more importantly the nakshatra placement of the moon is the key to understanding compatibility so um, first I'm gonna just uh, talk a little bit about what um, what is what is a nakshatra for, for those who are new to Vedic astrology um, uh, the, the heart of uh, Vedic astrology is, is in fact uh, nakshatras. Originally Jyotish was focused um, on nakshatras only, which is the movement of, of, of the moon through the, the, through the constellations, um, rather than uh, the sign, which is the movement of the sun. Nakshatra is basically a fixed star constellation in the sky. Where the planets are transiting, I would I would describe it um, I would describe nakshatras as a passive, but potent force, which need the planets to activate them. Yeah, um, so it's vital to note the nakshatra placement, as this will reveal the inner motivation and the attributes of the planets that reside there or transit there. In fact, the calculations and predictions in Vedic astrology are made from the vantage point of the moon transiting a specific nakshatra at the time of your birth. The controlling planet of the nakshatra must be seen for its impact, as well as the deity that rules the nakshatra to assess the entire situation and to see what's going on. Okay, so... Um, Back to the topic at hand, um, uh, we're going to look at nakshatra compatibility and see your best match from your moon sign. If you don't know where your moon was situated when you were born, then you can go to the chart calculator on my website, which is there for free, and you plug in your details. It should pop up with your moon's nakshatra. Remember, this is the sidereal system, so it may place your moon in a different sign altogether from the tropical or the western placement. Um, and for those who are watching all of the nakshatra videos, um, um, uh, please note that this little intro will be repeated in, in all of the videos. Um, yeah, one, final, um, uh, one more final thing I wanted to say about compatibility is that when it comes to uh, looking for a match, this is just sort of a common sense thing, I guess, but it's, it's very important. Uh, please uh, see uh, goodness where it lies, uh, rather than hoping for goodness where it does not exist. Yeah? Um, we're, we're, we're all guilty of, of being with people that are not good to us, um, or for us, um, in the hopes that they will be someday. So just don't ca get caught up in that illusion. Yeah? Um, astrology can, uh, remember, astrology can only guide us, but we make the final call. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started with the nakshatra compatibility videos. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Magha now. So for Magha, your ideal partner is Jaista, and your most challenging partner is um, Shravan. Um, Magha and um, Ashwini. Usually there is um, unfinished uh, karmic business between you. Your rulers are the same. Um, 
uh, Ketu. Um, and you feel this um, relationship will not be easy. You feel that quite instinctively. Um, there are many areas of your um, subconscious that you, you, you may not want to face and um, you tend to bring that out in each other. Um, both of you are, are quite um, idealistic. Um, you have similar, similar ideals and ways of thinking. Um, this tends to keep you, keep you together, um, but I would say be realistic about your future. Um, Maga and uh, uh, Bharani, you're fascinated by their personality and um, um, usually you give too much of yourself to um, Bharani. Um, whereas with others you may seek um, just a physical relationship. Um, with Bharani you tend to revere them and um, maybe even put them on a pedestal a little bit. Um, and um, on the other hand, if you um, uh, become a bit um, distant, if, if they don't reciprocate, they can feel very ignored and um, unwanted. Um, Maga and uh, Kritika, um, you don't really trust each other enough to share your uh, vulnerabilities. Um, you both try to kind of play the game of um, who's stronger. Um, the truth is that both of you are ignoring your inner feelings, seeing only the outer persona. Um, it, so uh, th that's sort of a problem that you will um, have to um, navigate through. Um, Maga and uh, Rohini, um, you can mock their um, romantic nature and ignore their uh, possessiveness, and um, but they need romance in their life, and um, both of you tend to ignore each other's uh, needs. Uh, Rohini appears in control of their life, but, they, but, but when they become demanding and jealous, um, you don't really want to deal with them. Um, and Rohini needs you more than um, you need um, them. Um, Maga and um, Rikshira, um, intellectual repartee and casual uh, flirtation begins this relationship. Um, they keep their sensuality under wraps um, to, to be revealed to, the, to their lovers. Um, um, but they're also very jealous and possessive, and they want commitment, which you may not be willing to uh, give to them. So, Magha and Arthra. Um, this is a profound relationship, and um, it has karmic um, aspects, um, which, which can involve a very complex give and take between the two of you. Um, always remember, it's not just the outer issues that you're dealing with, but your inner being. Um, the subtle connections that, you, that, that tie you together at times can um, unfortunately can bring um, great ups and downs in this uh, relationship. But the love is, um, is, is very binding and special between the two of you. Um, Maga and uh, Punarvasu, you find Punarvasu stimulating and um, the tales of their travels um, amusing. Um, you usually listen to their advice. Um, you, can, you can be great friends with them, but a more intimate relationship is extremely challenging. Punarvasu will um, probably play with your needs. For, for a relationship um, without physical compatibility, um, um, this may not be a good option for you. Um, uh, Maka and uh, Pushya, your ideas about life differ. Pushya are egalitarian and you can be quite sort of bossy and um, powerful and, and wanting to exert that power. Um, you hardly ever feel um, uh, entirely comfortable uh, with them, finding them very sort of, um, they're very sort of controlled and, and, and cool. Um, you can get involved in a relationship that is not fully satisfactory. If you want more fun um, from your relationship, um, I would say celebrate the differences and um, don't fall into a rut. Manka and uh, Ashlisha, um, sex is gonna be the bone of contention between the two of you. You're a rat, nakshatra and you remain afraid of the cat's sexual power. Um, your way of coping with this is to reject them or cut them out of your life. Um, Maga and Maga. So this is a really good relationship. It's got the love, it's got the sex, it's got the passion, it's got the shared goals, it's got the commitment. Um, uh, so all the ingredients are there. There's also instinctive understanding of each other's needs, which goes a long way, of course, to keep love alive. Um, you may fight a lot though, and I would say try not to be jealous of each other's successes. Um, Maga and Purva Falguni. Purva Falguni's capacity to um, enjoy life um, really uh, fills your heart with joy. Um, they can be creative, perfectionist, and devoted. Um, and in this way, they represent your ideal partner. Um, uh, and um, they will also be able to match your passions. Maga and Uttra Falguni. 
Your relationship with the Thrakophagani has the potential to become quite um, complex. Um, both of you are strong and stubborn and um, unwilling to give way. Um, your way of coping with this is by rejecting them. Uh, trust them with your inner feelings and care for them and they will show you their warmth and love. Um, Maga and Hasta, there appears to be a psychological inability to connect with Hasta's needs uh, for you. Um, you feel like some, um, you feel like there might be some past life um, connection there, um, but usually um, uh, in, a, in a negative way. Um, learn to appreciate their good qualities and um, compromise on the others. Then you are giving yourself a chance for happiness. Um, if Hasta are being cold towards you, they're probably um, hurting inside. Maga and Jitra. Jitra are very sensual and they match your endless demand for a physical relationship. Um, you may feel intimidated by them and this can stop you from pursuing the relationship further. Um, you try to fight for supremacy within the relationship. Um, I would say be democratic if you want um, to, to make it work and try to share your power equally. Um, Maga and Swati, um, you feel uneasy with uh, Swati. Um, there's a stressful karmic bond there that ties you together. Um, of course, again, because the rulership of, of Ketu and, and Rahu. Um, it usually brings issues that create um, unhappiness, though, um, before you can find true happiness. So uh, if you wanted to work, um, uh, uh, be compromising, talk about your fears, and um, you may be able to overcome some of those karmic um, challenges. Maga and Vishaka, um, you're on the defensive with um, Vishaka, um, always feeling the need to prove yourself and show them your power and show them who's boss. Um, your way of dealing with it is by rejecting what they have to offer. Um, they can question the valid validity of your um, relationship. Um, Maga and Anuradha, um, Anuradha can challenge your autocratic uh, behavior and instead of irritating you, this actually invigorates you. Um, they're, your, they're your opposite in every way, um, but this is a powerful attraction and they also have the uh, potential to love you uh, completely. Magha and um, Jaisa, um, this is your uh, best relationship. Uh, the mystical Jaisa can make you feel complete in every way. Um, their charm works wonders on you and they have a way of bringing you down to earth without hurting you. Um, they inspire you, um, their blend of passion and flirting is uh, fantastic and um, they nurture your um, your inner person, um, never, you, um, and never making you feel um, unloved or un unwanted. Maga and uh, Mula. Um, both of you are ruled by uh, the mystical Ketu. Um, you understand each other's needs, your motivations, your spiritual journey. You admire and love them, but there can be complications. As a Rak Nakshatra, you're forever in awe of the dog, Mula. You can be successful and powerful, but Mula can always dominate you if they want to. Maga and Purvashada. Um, creative and talented Purvashada are an instant magnet for you. Um, the relationship is fun, but somewhere along the line you can settle. Um, you may forget why you were attracted to them in the first place. Their inner search undermines you and their inability to concentrate fully makes you feel, um, concentrate on you fully makes you feel unwanted. Um, Maga and um, Thrashada, um, you, you tend to see through them their, their, their lack of self-confidence and their um, vulnerability um, um, you, you, and you kind of tend to um, play on that. Um, um, you're very active and you find them um, quite um, dull and boring um, and um, you can't be sensitive to their needs. Somehow this relationship brings out the worst in you, um, so be aware of these uh, negative qualities. Maga and um, Shravana, um, you can lose your sense of right and wrong with, 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 with Shravana. Um, you find it difficult to deal with their sentimental nature and you can also become very critical with them. Um, this is so unlike you because um, you're usually quite warm and um, you, you do try to uh, play fair. Um, so you feel frozen by their, uh, by their very chilly behavior um, and you might um, hurt them in return um, with, your, with your rejection. Maga and Adanishta. Um, hmm. Here you have to overcome your complex about your animal sign. As a lion, Adanishta is far too powerful for the small rat, Maga. 
And then each side can be warm and friendly. Um, they usually don't make any effort to keep you interested and you can try to pay them back for their, lazy, for their laziness by looking at and even getting involved with others to sort of test them. Um, Maga and uh, Shatabisha. Um, you could um, form very deep and intense relationships with them um, and they'll also uh, endeavor to fulfill all your needs. They feel comfortable with you so they will let you into their sort of more inner, innermost secrets. Um, and very few people are uh, privy to, to this, so um, you should feel flattered here. Um, they open their hearts to you, um, so I would say be careful about how you uh, treat them. Um, Maga and uh, Purva Padrapada, um, you should not allow them um, to put you on a pedestal because that's what they're going to want to do. However enjoyable it may be to um, to be idolized by the mighty lion, um, your one uh, moment of glory can create a lot of problems into the future. Um, you can um, feel inadequate um, and unable to uh, uh, compete with them and um, you can also make them feel very unwanted. Maga and Uttarabhadrapada. Um, Uttarabhadrapada are too restricted about um, uh, sexual expression and you want to be free to explore. Um, they don't want to enjoy life, preferring work and responsibility. And they can be quietly, they can be very quietly sensuous, and and you kind of need access to to this side of their nature. Um, uh, so if they do let you in, you will um, you will actually be delighted with what you uh, discover. Uh, Maka and Ravathi, um, you try hard to live up to Ravathi's image um, of you, but. Uh, you end up feeling quite sort of inadequate and unsure. Um, being a, a, a spiritually complex relationship, you try to cover up your inadequacies um, by uh, contrary behavior. Um, you can end up hurting each other if you're not careful. 